We're extremely happy to be here in Ghana. We're here for Kwasi. Um, and um, in general, the group gets the opportunity to tour to around 20 countries per year. Um, we've already been to about 10 or 11 of them. Uh, Ghana's been the best by, best by far. <laughs> and, you're uh, not just saying it because you're here, right? No, oh, no, 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 no. We've been having an I'm amazing kidding, time. I'm kidding, yeah. um, and apart from that, I would say that our, our favorite destination is the hometown of every one of our members. Um, okay. It's always, always a great time. Okay, so you guys are from different nationalities, like um, as many as possible, right? Well, we are all Americans. That's, that's just by accident. It's not a... Uh, it's not a requirement by okay. any means. Um, okay. But we happen to be all Americans. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Do you have uh, Chris, Do you have any music choices that or genres that you naturally do, or you you pick any? Uh, um, the group. Or yeah, myself? the group. Oh, the group. Uh, we do all types of genres. We do a lot of folk. We do a lot of traditional mu uh, choral music. We do jazz. We do pop, R and B. Mm. Working on hip hop. Oh, <laughs> I wish you had one for me now. But. I wish too. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of uh, genres of music, have you had the opportunity to introduce the choir to some more traditional forms or some more local forms of music? Can you? Um, I had the. I was going to uh, teach the group uh, the song Oye. Uh, As in Papa Okay. Yeah, we still haven't had the chance to, but I think we might do that tonight at some point and get to sing it. Hopefully for some of my family tomorrow before we leave. Nice, nice, nice. I, I'm looking at your mouth and I don't know if you can get the lyrics out by then. <laughs> <laughs> That's another story. Okay, so um, the the year with Impulse, what is um, special about this this group of people that go around the world and, and then you're saying, how is that experience like? It's really unique. We get to take the whole year off of off of our studies at university and we spend the time practicing and performing concerts. Mm. Um, effectively, we become a professional choir for just a year. But many of us are not planning to go into music long term. We have uh, future Why? engineers. <laughs> uh, I can only speak personally. I'm, okay. not, I'm not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? Um, right. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> um, but it, it, is a, it is a great opportunity mm. to take a year and, and live the dream. Nice. Uh, really. What all program do you read? I, I study physics. Physics, as in pure physics. Pure physics. Wow. Okay. That's I never. A... I never said I was terribly good. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I did. I did physics in in senior high school, senior secondary school for me, and <laughs> I don't envy you in any way. Uh, Chris, what program do you read? Molecular biology. Molecular biology. The thing coming out of my mouth alone is some way. <laughs> so you have people from all programs. Yeah. Why? So why do you take a year off school? To, to sync? I think exactly because we study all different programs, at least in the U.S., a lot of these programs are kind of become life tracks. Your career in the U.S. often defines kind of like your status in society in an odd way. And so getting one year to just do music instead of that, a passion we have outside of that traditional realm is like a really relaxing and fulfilling time. Okay. Let me have one more person join. Um, I don't remember a lot of names. I remember Kenyon. So, yes. Hi. Hi, Kenyon. How is, how is, does, uh, what program do you read? So, about? I am a computer science and music kind of double major. Oh, you do computer science and music? Yes. Wow. How do those two relate in the first place? You know, computers computers make sounds, and we just <laughs> we just use those, and we we make some music with them. Yeah, why does I think of that? Yeah, computers <laughs> make sounds. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So I was going to ask how the music influences what you study, but what you study is music, isn't it? Exactly, it is. Um, and I also happen to be the music director of the group. Nice. Uh, lucky enough to be that. Um, but I mean, we all we all study different things, and it's great to go to a place like Yale where we can feel like we can do both. We mm. have political science majors, we have other physicists and math majors, and you know, we we all do different things. And I, you know, am studying music, but also studying computer science. Mm. Um, but we, you know, we all come together to do this music thing for a year. Mm. It's a music thing, isn't it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay, let's hear one more of your songs, and then. So, what are you going to do for us next? Um, I think we're going to do the jazz standard, Nature Boy, uh, today, soloed on by Donovan Sabag. Nice. Okay, so Donovan will step forward, and we'll hear you guys. Hello. 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 There was 
was a boy, a certain strange enchanted boy. They said he traveled very far. Certain strange enchanted boy He said he traveled very far, very far Over land and sea A little shy and sad of eye But very wise was he Then one day A magic day he passed my way And as he spoke of many things Things and kings Was what he had to say to me the greatest joy that ever left is to love and be loved in return. Oh. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, if I had enough people, I'll call for a real round of applause. But then, <laughs> this is this is so cool. This is so cool. So you do R and B music too, don't you? Do you have a few R and B numbers? What is it called now? Okay, <laughs> so we are deciding on what to sing. Are we ready? Uh, we can do we can, we can do an R and B number. We can do like a gospel number. All if right. You want. So yes, let's do some R and B. All right. And it's home strong Even though I 
try to make it Heaven knows that I can show oh, you I've seen times that go harder oh, I remember the taste of bitterness oh, Won't you help me, my father Help me fall in the Though my past has left me bruised, I ain't hiding from the truth. The truth won't let me lie. Right next to you, right next to you, holding on. I'm still. Can't fake it, it keeps holding on. That is holding strong, even though I try to make it. Heaven knows that I can't shake it. Even though I try to make it, heaven knows that I can't shake it. I'm still holding on. I found my hands. <laughs> All right, so that was an amazing song. I'll ask for a gospel piece, but then a uh, quick question here. So you guys do this for a year. Are you members of the choir for just a year? Yes. So we are all seniors at Yale University. So okay. each year there is a new group of 14, and okay. each group chooses their successor. So last year's group of 14 chose us 14, and a few months ago we chose next year's 14. And we'll so go you are the group that chose the first female? Yes. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. That must have been a big deal. It was. It was a. It was a. It was a long process, but <laughs> we're happy with the result. Okay. So when you take off the year and you go and sing and you come back, then you guys choose the next one. Yes. What do you What do you base it on? What do you base that? Well, so we run an audition process, which is basically anyone who's interested comes and auditions for us, um, and they have to. We warm them up and down, so we try to get a sense of their vocal range. We do. Um, we sing a quartet with them, and they sing a solo for us, and so we get to hear their voice in an ensemble and their voice alone, and then we sit in a room and argue about it for like 20 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine what that would be like. Okay, uh, so your name? Your name. My name is Caleb. Caleb, and yes. you're learning? Um, I'm an American Studies major, which is sort of a history, culture studies program. Okay, okay. So I'm here with um, Kwesi and the Wiffin Poos. Can I say that? Okay. Yeah. They all with film poofs, and we've been doing some singing and enjoying some great music from various genres. It's 10 minutes at the top of the hour here on the Super Morning Show Enjoy 99.7 FM with Daniel Dazzy. We'll take these important messages, and when we come back, we'll zero in on that story that got all of us sitting up, got an entire nation sitting up, didn't it? When one person got admission to eight Ivy League universities. And he got the chance to pick one. Like, you know, the universities dropped people, but he, he dropped seven of them. Jolly. We'll be right back to talk about that. At AfroDan, we believe that many of the problems people have with their health is as a result of the way they sit. In other words, your chair can kill you. Here's Dr. Marcus Mann of the Chiropractic and Wellness Center. What you have to remember is that the spine is the lifeline to your body. And posture is the window to that spine. Now, posture is affected by your daily activities and habits like sitting. 
That's why at the Chiropractic and Wellness Centers, we recommend what I believe to be the best chairs available for preventing not only subluxations, but also other health problems that you may not be aware of, and that's Rabami and Mobilex chairs. Unfortunately, on a daily basis, I have to correct the effects of this poor sitting habit in our businessmen and businesswomen. Always remember, optimal spine equals optimum health. So, for the sake of your health, buy Rabami or Mobilex chairs from Afrodan. We are on the first floor of the Swansea Shopping Arcade. Telephone 663-085. Hey, Kwame, hmm. what's up here? My brother, my wife has been diagnosed with cancer. What? Uh, my brother is here with kidney disease too. Oh, yeah. Do you know the World Health Organization estimates that over 16,000 new cases of cancers are diagnosed annually in Ghana? And kidney diseases account for 10% of all medical admissions to Kolibu. But thanks to glycocritical illness plan, Jesse, I have spent over 20,000 Ghana cities on my younger brother's disease. Mm. Yeah! Uh, what is GSIP? Glycocritical illness plan, GSIP, provides you with financial support when diagnosed with any critical illness or dread disease such as cancers, strokes, kidney failures. Speak to Glycolife today on 0302-218-500 for your GSIP policy. It is definitely in our interest to survive. Glycolife, we cushion you for life. Charlie, who's playing today? My party. You need to download the Oprah News app. It lets you keep track of all general news and all World Cup news. Make sure they ask me these plenty questions. Bro, this app is amazing. I followed all my favorite teams. Now, I won't miss out on any game. There's more, bro. During the live matches at the World Cup, open the app, check your phone, and start a chance of winning amazing prizes from Jumia. You don't mean it. Win cars, over 300,000 cities worth of shopping vouchers, and more. Hey. Oprah News. News that rewards live scores, commentary, and watch video highlights. Download Ghana's number one news app and football companion from Google Play for free. <laughs> My name is Kwame Sefakai, and most of you know me as a media personality, but I am also a family man. The UMB mobile banking app, UMB Speed App, saves me so much time by letting me do almost all of my banking transactions on my phone. The cardless withdrawal feature allows me to withdraw cash from any UMB ATM without an ATM card. I can also pay bills, transfer money, request for a loan, invest money, and so much more. So now, I can spend less time at the bank and more time with the ones I love. <laughs> Bank anywhere and anytime with a UMB mobile banking app, UMB Speed App, and get the time to do what you love most. Download the UMB Speed App from your Android, iOS, or Windows phone today. Call 0302-633-988 for more information. UMB Speed App, Digibank, let's go! I am Dr. Keisha. Acacia gives your workers the best customer service and treatment options when the need arises, keeping them healthier and more productive for your business. Acacia Health Insurance. We place value on those you value. Buying a car is one of the most important decisions a person will take in their lives. How long you will enjoy the car depends on how well you look after the car. Unfortunately, the market is full of fake parts that are not only illegal but also dangerous. These parts can seriously damage your vehicle, causing breakdown or accidents. For example, when you use a fake shock absorber, it will affect the hubs, which will affect the lower arm, which can destroy your tires, which can lead to accidents. If you use a fake oil filter, it will get clocked and cannot perform form which will cause poor lubrication and your engine will be damaged forever. Imitation parts start a cancer that will spread through your car damaging it. Protect yourself. Purchase Toyota Genuine parts from Toyota Ghana branches and accredited service shops. Remember, make the right choice. Use Toyota Genuine parts from Toyota Ghana and we will treat your car to expert care. They say life is harder than a rock. We say Adunti. Give life your best shot always. They say it is too difficult to meet everybody's needs. We say Adunti. We have taken the time to understand you, the investor, the importer, the salaried worker, and even the youngster. Adum Savings and Loans is that friend who is truly on your side. For inquiries, call us on 030-220-8066. Adum Savings and Loans. Oh, yes. Your light of hope. <sighs> 
take a relaxing boat trip down a river or catch the buzz of city life someplace new. Decisions, decisions. What's next on your must-see list? Create endless memories with our special fares in Emirates Economy and Business. Book by 23rd July 2018 for travel until 31st March 2019. Contact your travel agent or visit emirates.com slash gh. Conditions apply. Fly Emirates for a world of good times. My dear, hmm, getting a new asset will make me feel on top of the world. Oh. Hmm, look, I'm thinking of getting a new car, a house, an acre of land, and a new draft for the business. No doubt, my darling. But why not first check to ensure the security of these assets before you buy? Ah, you are right. With some people using their assets to take loans from different banks, while others sell properties which do not belong to them to innocent buyers, you and I have no choice but to quickly fall on the collateral registry to know the true status of any property to be want to buy or accept as collateral for loan. You better act now. Don't lose guard. The collateral registry of the Bank of Ghana is the one-stop place for banks and individuals to check the true state of an asset. Contact the Bank of Ghana's collateral registry at the City House 11th floor or call 0243 543 931. Collateral registry. Securing your transaction. This message was brought to you by the World Bank Group and IFC in partnership with the Bank of Ghana and with support from the State Secretariat for Economic Affairs Circle. To be an entrepreneur, to be self-employed, and to provide job to reduce the rate of unemployment, this is my dream and aspiration. I'm Madu, a Nigerian and a young entrepreneur. Today, I found a place where my dream comes true. Blue Quest School of Business. Internships, industrial visits, and discussion forums has really helped me to develop my business career. I invite you all to join the best business school in town. Let's make the business world more exciting. For ICT, banking and finance, human resource management, logistics, oil and gas, fashion and journalism, choose Blue Crest College. For admission, call or WhatsApp 0263. Visit our website bluecrest.edu.ga. Blue Crest College, education for life. It's Friday! <laughs> So it's a super morning show in joy, 99.7 FM with Daniel Dazi. I'm here with the Yale with Finn Poofs. They are giving me my intro for the morning. But if you're interested in pursuing an MBA whilst you work, don't miss out on getting enrolled this October. Start your postgraduate studies with Lancaster University, Ghana, and earn a British university degree with a pedigree right here in Ghana. Come find out everything you need to know about our executive MBA program and modules on Thursday, 19th of July from 5.30 p.m. at an executive cocktail hosted by Lancaster University, Ghana, at our ANC Square campus. Our MBA evening gives you an opportunity to meet us over a drink and life refreshments and you can get all the details about the program. To find out more or register for the event, please call on 0302-747-700 and start your future with Lancaster University. Now, the attention of the management of the GRA has been drawn to a publication or claims on the website of one Get CTN. That's www.getctn.com as an authorized representative to provide CTN waiver certificates to Ghana. We wish to state emphatically that the Ghana Revenue Authority GRA has no engagement with the above-mentioned company and that their claims are untrue and at best a scam. The sole company contracted by GRA to provide cargo tracking notes CTN system to or from Ghana with the rest of the world is Michelle's Cargo Tracking Notes CTN Ghana Limited whose website is www.ctnghana.com. The general public and the international shipping community are thus advised to be cautious and not fall victim to any of such fraudulent activities. Anyone who engages the services of GetCTN does so at their own risk. Now, text messages on the show are brought to you by Afrodan. Your back must last you a lifetime and Glyco Travel Insurance Policy will cushion you for life. Travels abroad can be very exciting but full of uncertainties. That's why you need the Glyco Travel Insurance Policy. 
designed to cover travel costs and reduce the risk associated with unexpected events during your international and domestic travels to Europe, the Schengen countries, or anywhere worldwide. The Glyco Travel Insurance provides cover for medical emergency and hospitalization assistance, among many others. Talk to us today on 055-530-5547 or 020-887-6956 and let us help you plan for a peaceful travel abroad. Glyco Travel Insurance, cut the hustle, all the convenience. Glyco Life, we cushion you for life. Let's hear these guys, the Yale, whiffing poofs. with the year with improves amazing 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 music from these young men from Yale University in the US of A but Chrissy is a member of the with improves with an amazing story Chrissy tell us how did this begin okay so we have you have like give us a story in brief okay like the the story of how you were admitted well, I'm not on the admissions committee to any of these schools, so I don't really know how. I, was <laughs> I know that I applied to a lot of schools. Um, my guidance counselor never really dealt with a student applying to Ivy League colleges or as many as I was doing. Um, I wanted the opportunity available at these schools to better myself, to uh, forward my career and whatnot. So I applied. And by luck, I'd gotten on all these schools. And then my uh, guidance counselor was amazed. She sent it to my principal. Principal was amazed. She sent it to my, my school's PR guy for the newspaper. The PR guy for the newspaper was really... <laughs> 
dumbfounded and thought, well, I saw a kid uh, get into the Washington Post getting into five Ivies this year. You've gotten all of them, so I feel like that's probably an even better story. And I was really hesitant to go forward with that because I was a senior in high school just trying to live my life and graduate. But they really wanted to push forward with it, and they did, and it kind of blew up. And here we are. But you, <laughs> okay, so that is really the story in brief. But you applied to all of the eight schools. Why? Um, let's see. Well, my best friend uh, from home, his mother was actually a Princeton alumni. And seeing our community, I'm from a part of Long Island that's not, not very wealthy. And um, in general, doesn't, schools, our school system is not as strong as it should be for the area in, uh, within New York. And so a lot of kids in my town don't really get to amount to much because they don't get the schooling that they need to do so. And so me going forward with my education, my uh, path to try to become a physician someday, um, I, needed, I needed more. I needed more chances. I needed more ability to do research. I wanted to continue with my musical passions. And so I applied to schools that I thought would give me those resources if I was admitted. So you were actually looking at a school that you can be a good doctor coming out of that and then a musician? To be a good, to have a strong liberal arts education, to become open-minded, to get new perspectives in life. And from there, with those foundations, go to medical school in which afterwards I become a good physician. Okay. So your idea is that after the molecular biology degree, you go to medical school. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Amazing. But it was pretty obvious growing up from the neighborhood, as you describe it, that this was not going to be easy. Yeah. So did you at any point feel like, look, it's too big. Let me just pick something easier. No. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had, I had a goal in mind. I also, I mean, like many kids, I was one of those kids who would uh, watch Freshman to Bel Air. I'd see uh, Carlton on TV. I was talking about his dad going to Princeton, going to Princeton, wanting to be big. Will always wanted to go into um, sports and just kind of be a, be a persona for the world. And, you know, I, I liked the combination of both of them in terms of how they interacted with the world. Okay. I saw the need to um, further my education. I always told my parents, oh, I want to go to Harvard someday, like every little kid would. And I saw the necessary um, parts of Will's personality to kind of like be a fun and engaging person with the world. And so I try to combine both of those things into my life. So why did you eventually pick Yale? Well, there are a lot of uh, minute reasons as to why after I had the options of these schools, I found new ways to critique them such that I think I didn't think I would uh, best develop my personality and character growth there. Um, but Yale basically was that school that felt like uh, in terms of the vibe of the school, felt like a, a, a kind friend. It, um, people, when I came, they were very inviting. Uh, they told me all the stories about the things they had done before they'd gotten there and why they were so passionate about that school and described their happy experiences there in a way that no other person from other schools had to me when I visited those schools. And, you know, I love the residential college system. It makes you have a really nice uh, microcosm of the Yale community in one small uh, area where you live. I really loved the um, musical opportunities. Whiff and Poofs included, but I've also was in a group before the Whiff and Poofs that had taken me to Costa Rica, Moscow. Um, I have called the Yale Society of Orpheus and Bacchus. And, you know, I've done so much research in the psychiatry, the um, cardiology, the hematology and oncology departments at the School of Medicine. Um, I have, Already? Yeah. I have uh, gotten to do a lot since I've come to Yale. And I could tell when I was there in my visiting days, called Bulldog Days, that Yale had that for people if they wanted it. Hmm. I can see some of your mates that you came here with are impressed by what you're saying, so I don't feel alone. But then, <laughs> I think they're not used to me talking about my academic interests. <laughs> <laughs> but it could be more. Okay, all right. So um, I will thank a few people, but then at what point really did this yearning or this desire to be more, this desire that started from watching Fresh Prince, at what points in your life did that begin? It specifically began at the beginning of my 11th grade. I had a very particular English teacher who, for the first time, introduced me to the idea of being able to go to a school like that. No one in my school had gone to Ivy League schools before, really. Um, if anything, it was one person per every three or four years who was always valedictorian. Um, I did not graduate valedictorian. I was seventh out of 647. Um, but basically, her daughter went to UPenn. Her daughter wanted to go into architecture. And that was something that, from our school, we just never thought was a career people chose to do. And after going to that school, you know, opportunities there, doing a master's there, she came to realize that these schools just had so much available, the resources I was talking about, the students that wanted them. She told me that she thought if I really tried hard, worked on my SATs, um, continued like leading in the groups I was in, that could someday be something that I could do as well. So that started the kind of the 
kick I needed to get my high school career more centered on that kind of path for myself. Great. So I'm picking a, a, couple, a lot of things from what you're saying. There's the fact that it's not really about being the best in the class per se. Um, also the fact that really the, what appealed to you in choosing a school was not just the academics per se. Amazing. And did all of this started from a teacher. Yeah. Good. So you've come to Ghana. Mm-hmm. You've, you've toured a few education institutions yourself. You've spoken to a, a few of the advisors of the schools yourselves. I, I remember listening to Sir Ken Robinson <coughs> once, and he mentioned how this famous educationist, and he mentioned how because the education system, modern education system was developed after the Industrial Revolution, it seems like we, they're just processing people to go and work in these industries. Have you, have you found that space to discover yourself beyond a future job? Repeat that very last bit. Have you found that space to... Do you feel like you're working towards that job or your education is geared more towards who you are and what kind of individual you want to be? I think the latter is more so true. I think... Particularly at my school, at Yale, people are very, they're very much so taught how to think, how to be a critical thinker, how to engage with communities, how to basically call out injustices in an articulate way. Um, the vocabulary you learn at my school orients you towards service, I think, at best. Um, now, many people at my school still end up going into consulting and finance, don't know why, uh, <laughs> but I would say if that... If you look at their bank accounts, you probably find <laughs> <laughs> But in general, I think, yeah, our school very much focuses on making us better people, making us aware of how to better any community that we become a part of someday. Again, it blows my mind how you're talking about, you're learning molecular biology and you're talking about communication and engaging communities and stuff that you learn on a daily basis in school. But anyway, we could go on and on and on. It's 12 minutes past nine. We need to wrap up with this particular conversation. Um, Kwesi wants to say thank you to Mr. Francis Poku, the Vice Chancellor of University of Ghana, Lagon, Mr. John Abio, Dr. Ben Asante, Dr. Danso of KNUST, Mrs. Ama Bimpon, and the management of Lucia Hotel, the Yale Alumni Club of Ghana, so many people. Mrs. Rita Ejekum, tour drivers and escorts, Joy 99.7 FM, finally. And <laughs> <laughs> his parents and family and all who made uh, the stay in Ghana a success. Because his father is here, um, Ebeniza. Salute you, salute you, salute you. When I have conversations about education, the parents can never, ever be left out. But then, this is all we have time for. This is a special request from Enimwa Enimado. Yeah, here you go. Oh, man. 
Those are the Yale within poofs singing on the Super Morning Show. Enjoy 99.7 FM. So, if you're thinking of finding the only one to settle with for the rest of your life and you don't know how to choose, the answers will be discussed on this show after this. Your office they shine, no. Yes, so I be I tell you say for proper and modern ceiling solutions, the answer be Interface Limited. They'll get in stock acoustic ceilings.